going to do with this uh, presentation is talk about quality assurance and quality control, how they differ, who's responsible for both, but really importantly, how they work together, even though they have to maintain their independence. We're going to talk about who gets audited and why, what we look for when we audit, how the FDA trains its investigators or inspectors to audit clinical investigators, sponsors, and IRBs, including CROs and monitors. Also, we'll look at some of the recent noncompliance trends and regulatory focus that the FDA has for site sponsors and IRBs. And we're really focusing in this um, piece on FDA requirements and review and, and regulations, but keeping in mind that MHRA, EMA, Health Canada, you know, a lot of those other groups, they're looking for the same things and they're finding the same things. So we can certainly speak to those as well. And we do have a little piece on some of the international aspects, too. So what is an audit? And it's a simple simple question, simple answer, right? If we look at the definition from ICH, according to ICH, an audit is a systematic and independent examination of trial-related activities and documents to make sure that folks were in compliance. Now, there's also that very small word down there, that were, and we think about that in terms of it being more retrospective in nature. We know now that we're doing more pre-qualification audits, more real-time audits, um, even if they're not driven for cause, but more of the routine. Are we on track? Where are we? Uh, you know, an audit plan for a phase one study is going to look different from an audit plan for a later phase study, and we have to take that into consideration. 